What's going on, YouTube? It's your Shirley Rock Combo, aka the Professor on Sticks. What's up, Key Lost? See you trying to get in that Skype chat. Um, got a ranked gameplay here. I've been bringing all a bunch of mutt, so this is a little different. This is actually recent gameplay as well. I uh, should have thrown it to A. That was a missed read. Um, I've been just really playing mud in the last few games. I've showed y'all has been old gameplay, so this is fairly new. This was just played a couple a couple days ago. Um, right there, a really good defensive play on on my opponent's part, and the over abused, overused, smart route out route to pick up a fourth and seven. Anytime you're on the short side of the field, again trips formation, you hit him with the smart route out route, you will convert it in this year's game. <coughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so I'm the Colts, my opponent's the Eagles, and you know, it's fun. It's fun playing some ranked games. It's uh, I'm using the Indie playbook on offense. My One of my last videos, I, I spoke about what I think is the best playbooks in Madden 25. Indie is definitely up there, um, and this is an Indie playbook with um, with just set, set audibles, and then I think I added like uh, a couple plays to it, but not, not much. I think a couple plays from like the tray open formation or something like that. Um, but uh, you know, if if it wasn't for um, the audibles, uh, th this this playbook would be up there definitely. And look at this. Watch this veteran move. You see, what did my opponent just do? I talked about him a couple videos ago. He swerved in and then swerved back up, and my man defender um, kind of slowed down, and it gave him gave him room to complete that pass. That's something that um, is very subtle in the game, but. Once again, if you want to take your game to the next level, that's little things that you need to know. Uh, my opponent knew how to do that. You know, just click on and swerve in and then up. I don't know if he did it on purpose or if he just dumbfound luck that he uh, <laughs> he figured that out. But it's 7-0 in the red zone. It's very tough to score in the red zone, especially pass. Um, you should probably try to run the ball a little bit. Uh, this year's game, the run is just so OP. So... Uh, when you're in the red zone, it's definitely um, worthwhile because a lot of people are just all, all out coverage defense, and it, you know the field strength is pretty tough to score. So I took advantage of it. You know my opponent had a pretty good first drive going. <coughs> Anytime you can get a stop on your opponent the first time, um, it's definitely an advantage to you. As you can see, I I, I didn't cut out the play art. I just no huddled and went trying to figure out a perfect play. Um, I feel like the middle of the field is open, so I'm trying to get to a formation. Uh, to get the, a read option, um, so and and once once I got to the trips, it actually brought another person outside of the box, and so that was an easy nine yard gain. Um, now we we get down to a third and six. I missed just the second down play. Uh, just hit him with the with a flat route and was able to um, was able to pick up the first. Once again, he was spread out, so I did an inside run and was able to get nine yards out of it. Uh, now we go to the, the nifty screen pass. Pancake blocks, that's something definitely, hopefully, Madden 15, they clean up. But story of the day, real quick. So I go to get a haircut from, uh, I believe it was called Great Club, second time I've been there. You know, I always, I always am a pretty good tipper, you know, for a $10, $12 hair haircut. You know, I tip five, sometimes even $10. If, if you, um, if, you know, if you sell me on giving you a good tip, I'm going to give you a good tip. So if you speak to me, interact, ask me questions, go back and forth, you're going to, you're going to get a, a good tip. However, this lady, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm like, all right, I'll start the conversation. I'm like, oh, you know, you know, how you doing? How's your weekend going? And, you know, this is this is Sunday when I'm doing this commentary. Um, you know, just asking her general questions. I'm like, you know, is it more busy now? You know, because the part, we have a lot of tourists uh, come by and float the river and all that stuff. And she, she didn't reciprocate nothing, didn't really ask any questions, um, didn't really talk the whole time. She didn't try to upsell me on anything, which if you're a salesperson, which a lot of times that's what I do with my job is, I you know, I sell – uh, durable medical equipment. You always want to have some type of upsell. A lot of people upsell like shampoos or uh, or you know different products for your hair. She didn't try to do none of that. Which some people are like, yeah, you know, sometimes I do like that. I don't like to hear anything, but you know, if, if you're gonna try to work for your tip, you know, like, work for it. You know, like interact with me a little bit, interact with your customers. So um, I get up to the line to pay, and uh, you know, it was like eleven dollars, and so I just I just gave her a two dollar tip. You know, wrote it down on my you know. Um, on my receipt and she gave me this look of hell like dude you only gave me two bucks and I wanted to say back like lady you only you didn't even talk to me you don't even know my name but uh, <laughs> anyways that's that's the story of the day it was just kind of on my mind so I thought I would, I would share that with you but yeah if you, if you want to get a tip you definitely you know communicate with your customer and uh, that should definitely um, be the tip of the day route runners I'll see you on the sticks